Man, that took a while. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Gravity, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Way 2 walkthrough. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we went through a, a bit of a little bit of a bad episode or something like that. I don't even know. It, pro it probably was a bad episode. Anywho, in the last episode, we uh, kind of we were kind of waiting for the Pokemon World Tournament have to wait on that kind of got sidetracked right here into the relic passage and yes we did train up our pokemon a little bit i did heal up a little and i did get myself some repels because well yeah we need repels i nearly depleted all my stuff right here so let's go right ahead and continue on to the relic castle in the most appropriate way possible and that is by just you know destroying everybody now i did battle a whole bunch of a uh, pokemon right here um Obviously, we are still kind of like towards a similar level toward uh, these Pokemon. One of these Pokemon being a Gigalip, because look at that, level 30. Now, I did train my Pokemon, uh, I want to say both, uh, which one call it? Both Sign of the Torrent and Desert Storm, close enough to the evolution levels, because yes, we kind of need to evolve these Pokemon to their final forms. Yes, we, we, I can't stand getting my butt kicked. Any longer, especially, you know, since I don't really have a lot of time just, you know, doing those, uh, doing these edits or something like that. So, hey, there we go. We have defeated this guy. Does a storm get to little more levels? Yes, we did turn on the repel, so remember that. Now, there is this little little thing right here, so let's just go ahead and push it. Hopefully, we won't get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, let's see. I did get myself some Pokeballs here, too. And, let's see. Oh, look at that. An exit. Should I go? Probably should battle the Pokemon Trader first, and well, maybe I should switch up Pokemon too because we're kind of somewhat in a similar level. And look at this, Onyx, level 30. I kind of want to capture it, but then again, I kind of got stuff to do right here. And luckily for us, Gigalove is a little faster than Onyx. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to good old Sign of the Torrent and try and evolve two Pokemon at the same episode. And hopefully we won't get attacked by any more Pokemon right here. And there is a lady right here waiting for us. And she's like, it's coming. It's coming. The ancient spiritual power. Okay, what do you say? So here we go. We're taking on another trainer, Psychic Emma or Anna. Yeah, and she is going to be coming out with her ball toy. And, well, let's go right ahead and... Uh, Use a uh, sign of the tour right here. We're getting closer and closer to its evolutionary form. And well, let's go straight for a razor show. And just like that, Baltimore has been defeated. I feel good, great, fantastic. And look at this Yamask coming out. And well, we, we do have the Pokemon for this situation. Let's go Shedder, Shadar. Because it does have that attack on my card. So here we go, Shadar. And well, let's see. We got ourselves Yamask. So, Yamas, get ready to get take a uh, fat faint attack right here, and you don't have to defeat Yamas, but here's the mummy attack, and now our Moxie has been taken away. So, eh, oh god, mummy attack, you, you, you can't love that one right there, so let's go again. Faint attack for the win. There we go. Fantastic. Just fantastic. And, well, we defeated another Pokemon trainer right here, and now we have to go straight to the entrance exit or whatever it is. Look at that, look at this. Oh, yes, okay, so we made it easier for us to just travel into this area. And, uh, well, would you look at that? We are in the Relic Castle, and, well, you can't see it right now, but this actually leads to something very, 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 very special, and that is a Volcarona. Now, if you guys remember, we kind of, uh, yeah, we kind of, uh, what should we call it, steered away from it because we actually thought we had, we could go to Volcarona the original way, but yeah, this is probably the way to get to Volcarona. And uh, yep, there it is, guys, a Volcarona waiting for us. If you guys remember in Pokemon Black, I made the mistake of capturing this Pokemon with a Master Ball. Reason being, because, well, you know, Draven is an idiot. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, didn't train his Pokemon enough to go up against a level 60, 70 Volcarona, and then after that, uh, yeah. So that kind of that kind of messed up a lot of things. So before we do anything, guys, let me uh, let me go ahead and heal up my stuff. Let me go ahead and make sure I got everything in situated, and uh, I'll be back. Take it on Volcarona right here. Alrighty, guys. So here we go, Volcarona. I hope you're at a 
a lesser level right here, okay? So let's go right ahead. So here it is, guys, the pseudo-legendary Pokemon, Volcarona. And it is at level 35 in a very, very appropriate level. We can actually try and capture this guy, so what we're gonna do right now is the wave. And yes, this guy is gonna try and uh, do the same thing right here. Uh, I think? And I'm just like, I'm trying to remember off like the previous experience that I had right here, but I think you can actually get yourself a Volcarona's pre evolutionary form in its baby form, I think. I, I don't even know, but comment down below, guys. But here it is. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, so here comes a leash life. So, yes. This Volcarona right here is a little more tame than the one that we faced in Pokemon Black. And if any of you guys are wondering, no, I, I am not planning on taking this Pokemon on my team, although it's very, very tempting and wow! Oh wow, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, so we really, really need to hit this Pokemon and we... Because we, we have a distinct advantage right now since it is paralyzed and it's Flame Body. Oh wow, okay, so... Yeah, that, that right there, yeah, that is not going to bode well and... Well, there goes Magneto. So let's go straight for a Pokemon that can actually take uh, this Pokemon's uh, attack right here. And that is the Big Buttkiss. Alrighty, Buttkiss. Let's get this. So, it is a fire type Pokemon. Let's go ahead and try and capture it with some Pokeballs right here. I did collect myself some uh, some nest or some net balls right here. It is a bug type Pokemon, so this should no, this could work. And well, come on, stay in the ball. No, oh, come on! Don't be a dick, man. And yes, the flash fire will actually increase our uh, our move set just a little bit right here. So let's go ahead and do another net ball. Let's get it. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. There we go. One, two, three. Yes, yes. And I am throwing up that peace sign. Okay. So a very tame capture of Volcarona. This is exactly what should have happened in Pokemon Black. So here it is guys, Volcarona the Sun Pokemon, both bug and fire. Thought to be an embodiment of the sun, it appeared during a bitterly cold winter and saved Pokemon from freezing. Even though it sounds and it looks evil, so let's go ahead and not give it a nickname just yet. I mean, I'm, it's tempting. It, re it really, really is tempting to capture this Pokemon, or to put this Pokemon on my team. And there is, a, you know, the hieroglyphs of, of Volcarona right there, so... Wow! You caught Volcarona, very anticlimactic right there, so... Let's go into the next area right here, and this will actually take us... Wow, right here. And we found ourselves in Ultra Ball, which... Well, let's face it, it wasn't... We, were, we weren't even going to use it, but it actually worked out. Yeah, this, this whole thing worked out in our benefit. Okay! So... Let's see. I think there's still maybe one or two things that I have to do inside the road passage and stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take care of it and then uh, continue on with this whole situation right here. Now this probably should have happened in the last episode, but honestly, guys, it has been a while since I've actually played this game uh, or done any kind of actual narration recently because of you know the busiest schedule that I've ever had. But you know, I'm gonna do my best to keep it consistent and all that crud, guys. You know me, I love to keep it consistent, and uh, well, let's go ahead and use another Max Repel. Buying 21 of those seems a little bit new now. And yes, there is a trainer right here. Let's grab this, found ourselves a protein. Gotta have your protein, guys, because, well, gotta grow those muscles. And uh, shout out to Joey Cove out there. He is a follower of my Instagram, don't know his YouTube. But hey, you are making progress with your weight loss. Keep on going, homie. Shout out to you, Joey Co. And well, let's see. First, one big last goal. Hold your breath. Okay, so I don't know what you I don't know what you're trying to do, but it kind of sounds like you're trying to bark or something like that. So here we go, backpack around a rainbow and uh, man Panther Randall. Look at this, eradicated level 32. Lego. Alrighty, so we're not gonna see an evolution right here, but we're definitely gonna see a few battles. Here's the sucker punch. And here comes the Revenge of the Nerds right here. And this one will actually get it pretty hard. It's taken by the Radicate. And there we go. Desert Storm has grown to level 35. You guys already know what this means. It is time for being the most powerful Pokemon on my team, but Digivolution time. Finally! 
So, with this evolution right here, guys, we get a little bit of speed. We get a little bit of a, an extra typing. We get a little bit of firepower. Yes, we get the full shebang. Shabuya. Sha, 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 booyah, phone call. And look at this. We get ourselves a Vibrava. Vibrava. And it wants to learn Dragon Breath. Yes, we are going to give it Dragon Breath. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead. You know, it's tempting. It's tempting. Okay, so. You know what? Let's go ahead and go with Bulldoze. And there we go. Dragon Breath for the win. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon. Vibrava. 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 I can't even say it right, but yes, look at this. It's somewhat of a clown. Caught it about a month ago. Actually, a month ago today, or two months ago again. And yes, it is both a uh, ground and dragon type Pokemon. Very, very good camp combination. Now it has the levitate technique, which its immunity will be ground type moves. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, well, now that, it, now that it's a, a, a dragon type Pokemon, Let's go ahead and move that experience share to somebody that needs it the most, and that will probably be... You know what, let's give it the big booty butt kiss, because, uh... Yeah, because we... C I did say... Well, I already have the Firestone. It can evolve right now if I wanted to, but I kind of want to actually... Uh, get it to its final evolution, or final, uh... Final move, that way it can actually have some powerful attacks. I know, it sounds pretty crazy, but yeah, kind of that's kind of how Dream rolls right here. So, there you go, guys. We are back into the Pokemon World Tournament, and well, in the next episode, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Chances are we're going to go into the Pokemon World Tournament, or we might get sidetracked and do something else. But I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Thank you guys again for staying patient right here. And well, there's a link in the description below if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.